Ozempic. It's being hailed as the miracle drug of our time, promising effortless weight loss and a new, slimmer you. Celebs like Kim Kardashian, Elon Musk, Drake, and Rick Ross are all reportedly using it, shedding pounds like it's magic. It has become a part of internet culture. When I look around this room, I can't help but wonder, is Ozempic right for me? I'm in shape because I run, avoid sugar, and do Ozempic. It's not a sin to use Ozempic if you have a weight problem, so why not talk about it? My friend, and she's like, oh, I'm not gonna eat anything. I'm, I'm on Ozempic. And I was like, yeah, everyone's on Ozempic. Hollywood and billionaires have all accepted it. But is it really as miraculous as it seems? Or is there a dark side to this so-called wonder drug? It's completely shaken the pharmaceutical industry like never before. And with big money comes big risks and big consequences. Buckle up, because we're diving into the depths of what might just be the biggest health scam in medical history. Ozempic was originally intended as a diabetes medication. Then Novo Nordisk, the Danish pharmaceutical giant behind the drug, realized it had a side effect. It tells your brain that you're full, even if you haven't eaten. The company quickly rebranded it as a weight loss drug which has turned Novo Nordisk into Europe's most valuable company, with a market valuation of $450 billion. Sounds perfect, right? What they don't tell you is that Ozempic comes with a slew of potentially severe side effects, from chronic nausea and kidney disease, to thyroid cancer, and even intestinal blockage. The FDA has issued a black box warning on this drug, yet it's still being pushed to the masses. Why? because there's big money to be made in turning you into a lifelong customer. Ozempic isn't just a quick fix, it's a lifelong commitment. Once you start, you can't stop without serious repercussions. It's a vicious cycle, designed to keep you hooked and reliant on this drug forever. This miracle drug only costs less than $5 to manufacture. Ozempic can be manufactured for under $5 for a month's supply compared to near $1,000 out-of-pocket list price in the U.S. There is no rational reason other than greed for Novo Nordisk to charge Americans nearly $1,000 a month for Ozempic. In Germany, you can get the drug for $60, but here in America, it is being sold for over $1,000. So, how did they reach this price point of over $1,000 per shot? When Novo Nordisk released Ozempic, specifically targeting obesity, the demand was immediate and immense. By 2023, sales of Ozempic rose by 58%, within just six months. Novo Nordisk reported overall net sales of $15.1 billion in the first half of 2023 alone. The company's stock price reflects this success, having more than quadrupled in the past five years. Novo Nordisk's market valuation has surpassed Denmark's entire economy. But Novo Nordisk isn't alone in this lucrative market. Eli Lilly, another pharmaceutical heavyweight, has introduced Zepbound, a competing drug. These drugs have not only transformed Novo Nordisk, but have also shifted how the pharmaceutical industry approaches chronic diseases like obesity and diabetes. The shift towards treating obesity as a medical condition, rather than a lifestyle choice, has opened new revenue streams and altered healthcare dynamics. Pharmaceutical companies play a significant role in shaping public perceptions of health and disease. The promotion of drugs like Ozempic as quick fixes for obesity reflects a broader trend in the pharmaceutical industry. By emphasizing the effectiveness of their products, companies can create a sense of urgency and dependency among consumers, driving demand and increasing profits. The weight loss industry is a multi-billion dollar behemoth, and drugs like Ozempic are its latest cash cows. The marketing of Ozempic taps into a powerful narrative that obesity is beyond individual control and can only be managed with medical intervention. This idea has profound implications. By framing obesity as a disease rather than a consequence of lifestyle choices, pharmaceutical companies can market their solutions as essential treatments rather than optional aids. Could be something completely different than just a drug, but something you could use uh, as you use makeup. Maybe people simply would forget to do exercise and to, to eat healthy because we simply take a drug, only scratching the surface. And that's a little bit scary, in fact. High-profile endorsements and widespread media coverage create a perception of legitimacy and necessity. When celebrities and influencers openly discuss their use of Ozempic, it normalizes the medication and makes it seem like a reasonable, even desirable option for anyone struggling with their weight. 
This societal shift can make individuals feel that they need to take Ozempic to keep up with the latest health trends or to achieve a certain standard of beauty. Yet, as we've seen, the consequences of this widespread adoption can be dire. The side effects alone should give anyone pause. From nausea and stomach pain to more severe conditions like pancreatitis and gastroparesis, the list of potential complications is long and concerning. And let's not forget the risk of developing thyroid cancer or experiencing kidney failure. These aren't just minor inconveniences. They're serious health risks that can have long-lasting impacts. Despite these dangers, the push to use Ozempic continues unabated. Why? Because there's a lot of money to be made by convincing the public that their weight issues are beyond their control and that medication is the only answer. Pharmaceutical companies are tapping into a vast and profitable market. It's a business model that prioritizes profit over people, health, and well-being. Think about the financial burden on individuals who become dependent on such medications. Ozempic isn't cheap, and the cost of staying on it long-term can be prohibitive for many. This creates a situation where people might feel financially trapped, constantly paying for a drug they can't afford to stop taking. It's a vicious cycle of dependency and financial strain, all orchestrated by a market that thrives on these very dynamics. And there's more. The shortage of Ozempic for diabetic patients, who genuinely need it to manage their blood sugar levels, is another significant issue. As the demand for off-label use as a weight loss drug skyrockets, those with diabetes are left struggling to find the medication that is critical for their health. Pharmacies running out of stock, patients having to switch medications, and the anxiety of not having reliable access to a necessary drug. These are real problems exacerbated by the off-label popularity of Ozempic. Is it worth sacrificing long-term health for short-term gains? The answer seems clear when considering the mounting evidence against Ozempic. When medications like Ozempic are promoted as the solution to obesity, it diverts attention from addressing the root causes of weight gain, such as poor diet, lack of exercise, and hormonal imbalances. When medications are marketed aggressively for off-label uses, it can lead to misuse and over-reliance on pharmaceuticals. This not only strains the healthcare system but also diverts resources away from more holistic and preventive approaches to health. As Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly continue to compete and expand in the obesity drug market, the stakes will only get higher. Whether Ozempic will be remembered as a groundbreaking innovation or a cautionary tale remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. The conversation about weight loss, health, and the role of Big Pharma is far from over. As we look to the future, it is essential to consider the broader implications of pharmaceutical innovations like Ozempic. The debate over weight loss, health, and the role of Big Pharma will continue to shape our approach to wellness, influencing public health policy, medical research, and individual health choices for years to come.